do more farming stuff, more homesteading things. And I think it's just gonna make our lives a lot easier. Or I think it was a Daihatsu. What kind of shape is it? Some of them have little dings. Oh. Hello, everyone. This is Hayamanu Kantan Katakana Ekaiwa. This time, I'd like to show you about K truck in the States. K truck ってよくあの田舎のお農道とかで見ますよね。え以前から K トラックの性能っていいとは聞いていたんですが、これがアメリカで1、2年前から大変な人気になっています。え私も知らなかったんですが、えー、小回りの良さ、燃費の良さ、軽トラ自体の性能がいいということで、えー、とても人気になっています。で、今回はどうしてそうなったかということから、えー、今回ちょっと日本語も多めの動画になります。で、えー、後ろの方は、えー、この日本の軽トラを実際に、えー、購入して使っているファーマー。アメリカの農家の人のお話をお見せします。しかしながら、アウンが立ち込め始めました、えー。ジョージア州で日本の軽トラックを登録できなくなるということが起きてしまいました。で、アメリカって面白い国で、国全体の法律と50州の各州の法律、決まりが違うんですね。えー、そのこと私たち日本人はよく知らないんですけれども、えー、そのことを物語るように2人のアメリカ人が今回のジョージア州の日本の軽トラックの登録ができなくなるバンされるということについて話しています。興味深いいいお話なのでで皆ささんちょっと聞ててみてくださいそれではまた後で数年前からアメリカで注目されてきた日本車その注目度の高まりがイギリスにも伝わり今回の特集報道につながったようですアメリカだけではなくイギリスでも注目され始めた日本の車その車とは軽トラ日本では自営業者のパートナーそしてあらゆる業種で働く車としておなじみの軽トラがアメリカの田舎で一大ブームを巻き起こしているというのですこのエコノミスト氏が配信した記事はアメリカで大変大きな反響を呼びましたそう右ハンドルの車は輸入が認められていないのですそこで重要な役割を持つのが25年という歳月アメリカでは初年度登録から25年以上経過した車はクラシックカーと認定され右ハンドルの車でも輸入可能となるのですそれにクラシックカーに認定されれば関税や排ガス規制も大日本では2年に1度車検を受けなければならないので整備が行き届き25年以上経過していても状態の良い軽トラが多く見つかるのだそうです日本の自動車メーカーはアメリカでの販売戦略として販売後のアフターサービスに重点を置いてきました故障しづらいと言われている日本車ですがもし故障した場合でも修理に関して心配がないとなれば安心して購入できますまたロシアのウクライナ侵攻や新型コロナウイルスによる世界経済の低迷アメリカのインフレも日本の軽トラに注目が集まる要因に4メートル以下全幅 1.48 メートル以下と規格で定められています燃費についても小さい日本の軽トラの方がはるかに良いそうで軽トラの燃費の良さ小回りの利くボディ車の状態の良さアフターサービスの良さ壊れにくさこれらがアメリカ人の心を実は今日本のあるものが大活躍しているんです日本製の軽トラックが十数台ずらりと並べられています日本製の軽トラック気に入ってるから増やしてるんだよみんな運転を楽しんでるアメリカ市民の間でも利用者が増えていて丸太を次々と軽トラの荷台に詰め込んでいくジョンさん37歳1年半ほど前に日本製の軽トラを購入したといいます
アメリカの自然豊かな道を走る軽トラですがハンドルは日本式の右その走る姿を見るとまるで日本のような風景です中古車が人気となっているある理由が見えてきました特に90年代などの古いものは非常によく作られているからです燃費もいいですし修理も簡単で掃除て安いんですアメリカでは製造から25年経った車は排ガスの規制など輸入の際の基準が緩くなるといいますさらにこちらの店では価格も日本円でおよそ90万円から140万円とアメリカ製の中古車に比べ安く購入が可能そのため90年代の軽トラが人気にアメリカのファームズ・バック・ロードズケルシー・クーンスタインは今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は今日は Good morning, Mitch. Well, these Japanese mini trucks are becoming increasingly popular in the United States. And it's super interesting if you look inside. They're a right hand drive vehicle. There is no air safety bag in the front seat, though. But if you look in the back, now it's just like a pickup truck, but quite a bit smaller. Three sides actually roll down. This was made in Japan.、They're Moving from one and a half acres to 14 acres, we might as well be living in a, on a thousand acre ranch in Montana because everything looks so much bigger. And we are getting a little bit more used to it, but as we're living here only a year, we are realizing that you know, we need some kind of vehicle, maybe a farm vehicle. Utility vehicle to help us get stuff done. Now, we just got this gorilla cart when we moved here, and it does a good job. You really feel the burn when you have to haul up five gallon buckets of water up to our meat chickens. The first thing that came to my mind was a side by side because I have friends that have side by sides, but they're just so expensive. Even the used ones I find, they're either super beat up or crazy expensive. I thought about using a golf cart. I've seen people use those on their farm, which I think is pretty fun. It should be dual purpose because we are a one car family and we have been for the past 12 years. And having a farm vehicle that I can do stuff around the farm and take to the hardware store would be a plus. And then I've seen these Japan 4x4 farm trucks. So, in today's video, we're gonna go test drive some of these trucks, and I just. <laughs> yeah, you're doing good. Let your foot off the clutch all the way. Now go left, left. It is in four wheel drive right now. It is. Okay. Now you're gonna turn right onto this dirt road. All right, so now these things come with heat only? Correct. Right? Once in a blue moon, you'll see air conditioning. What we're gonna do. Is we're gonna go down there. <laughs> All right, so now it's the river? Yeah, just come to a stop. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Now we're gonna put it in low range. And to go into low range, we do that. And now we're in low range. So now you can roll forward and let go of the clutch. And now the engine will hold you back. So you notice we're going really slow here. Yeah. And now, what I want you to do is kind of veer to the left, and you're gonna cut a hard right. Go a little more left, okay? And cut it right all the way. And now you can see that we're traversing the river bottom. Just keep going? Yeah, just keep、yeah. going. And now you're gonna climb that hill. Nineteen ninety-two, four-wheel drive. It's street legal. It's right-hand drive. This is gonna take some time to get used to. I'm wondering how much it costs to fill this tank up. 
$13.94. Five gallon tank. It's scary. Um, it, the state of Georgia has uh, recently sent a letter out to their motor vehicle registration offices, uh, reminding them of the law that they have, which forbids them from registering K vehicles in the state of Georgia. Yeah, it's uh, it's got a lot of K car enthusiasts and owners kind of wondering what's going to happen. I know there are uh, there's already a lot of K cars on the road in Georgia. Um, and there's, there's a lot of JDM cars in general on the road in Georgia, um, and people kind of are, uh, are wondering what that means. Uh, the ones that already have registration, are they gonna get revoked? The people who are planning on buying cars and bringing them to Georgia, will they be able to drive them? Um, that, these are the questions people are asking. What were the other states that this happened in? If I recall, maybe a year or so ago, it started in the Northeast somewhere. Is that is that true? Yeah, Rhode Island, uh, you know, to varying degrees, a lot of states in the Northeast have restrictions. Rhode Island, uh, I believe it's Maine, Pennsylvania, New York, um, and uh, and Georgia was, was one of those on the list as well. So what's behind this, Steve? These vehicles are 25 years old or, yeah. or older. Of course, in the K truck area, there are, as we know, there's guys selling for off-road use, newer vehicles, uh, farm use and other stuff as well. But these were vehicles that were legally imported yeah. and then brought to those states and uh, taxes and other stuff assumed by the whoever bought them, they were paid and they were registered. And people have got these vehicles and they're using them in a variety of uses. And then all of a sudden, one day they wake up and the vehicles they own and have title registered are not able to be driven anymore. Titles are going to be revoked and everything else. What What's driving this? Where, where is the, why is the government taking this action, Steve, in your opinion? Well, I think some of the confusion lies in the difference between the United States federal law and the individual state laws. And so uh, one of the challenges of living in the United States is really the confusion that comes up around, uh, not just with cars, with really anything, um, you know, anything that's regulated. Uh, what are the rules in Oklahoma or Louisiana or Georgia versus Texas or wherever you live? Um, and so with as it pertains to the 25 year rule, uh, the federal government says we're allowed to bring a car in um, and it is exempt from federal motor vehicle safety standards and exempt from environmental protection agency epa uh, regulations if it's 25 years old that just means you could bring it into the country the states get to say whether or not you can register it and so what's happening here is georgia has said k vehicles are you know they're made um, for use in japan where they're used as city cars or farm vehicles, and they're not driven on highways with the you know 70 or 80 mile per hour speed limit. Um, they don't. They've never passed United States kind of safety standards. So if a K truck gets into a crash with uh, with a, a, a big SUV like so many people like to drive in the United States, that. やはりアメリカ人の人たちにも日本の軽トラックの良さが分かってきたようですがしかしながらアメリカの車の業界もこの日本車の人気にちょっと警戒しているのかもしれませんねもうニュージーランドでもやはり日本車の良さが分かったようです、えー、イギリスやニュージーランドはあの右ハンドルなので輸入規制がないようですね。この軽トラックよく働く働き者なんですね。に注目が集まっているようです。やはりものづくり、丁寧な扱いは日本のお得意の分野のようです。今回は日本の軽トラックの人気についてやってみました。それではまた。I see you later. Bye.